Now, when the water is warm, serving fish is always great because it's nice and light, but I always struggle to find the right sauce that goes with it. And today I'm going to show you how to make a famous bistro butter sauce called the Sauce Grenobloise that is super versatile, is nice and tangy, and it goes really well with any kinds of white fish. You could even use salmon if you want. It is a sauce made, of course, with a brown butter, a lemon, parsley, capers and croutons. So you get some crunch, you get some tanginess, you get some texture, you get all the things that you want. And trust me, with fish, it is just beautiful. It goes without saying that like everything we do here at the French Cooking Academy, the mise en place is the most important thing. So we're gonna need some croutons. This is just the soft part of the bread. You can use white bread, capers, parsley. This is just the flesh of the lemon without skin in little quarters, 150 grams of butter, and about the juice of half a lemon. You'll find all the details on the recipe card. That's all you need for that sauce. Yes. Let's jump into the recipe. The first thing we're gonna do here is to prepare the croutons. So there's croutons, a tablespoon of oil, and you don't want a too high heat. And we're gonna take our time. We want golden croutons. As I said, there's no crust in these ones. Huh? So we're just gonna spend a few minutes and brown everything on all sides. I'm done. So this is the coloring that we have. If you don't have enough oil, don't be scared to add a bit more oil. You need to saturate the croutons so that they become really hard. You hear that noise? You see, you don't want something soft and you don't want something burn on the outside and soft on the inside. That has to go in the butter. They need to be really dry. So when they are done, I'm going to reserve this on the side here on a piece of paper towel to drain the excess of oil. And now the croutons are done, we're gonna make the brown butter. When you start this, you need to have all the other stuff ready. Remember, this is bistro kind of food. This is chop, chop, chop in one go. Okay, so butter, as soon as it's ready, all the ingredients are gonna follow. I've got my heat, you can put this on medium. Huh? I've got my butter. And we're gonna make a brown butter, aka the beurre noisette or hazelnut butter. What is this? It is simply butter that is melted. And it's a butter where we are gonna be cooking the milk solid. And so you all this brown deposit and when you do this, your butter is gonna have that kind of nutty flavor. And that's all what it is. Okay, so don't put the heat too high. You don't want to burn anything. Wait for this to melt first. And once the butter is melted, it's gonna to start to chant. Can you hear this? This is basically the milk solid and some of the water, the content is kind of evaporates. The very easy thing to do to know when the butter is ready, we're just gonna wait for this noise to stop. That is usually the sign when it is spot on when your brown butter is ready. Can you hear? The noise is disappearing, it's ready. We're gonna take all the lemon juice. Emulsify. This is to stop the cooking of the butter, I'm gonna turn my heat off now. Then we're gonna add the other ingredients. Once the cooking stops, I'm putting my heat back on very, very low. I'm gonna add some salt, capers, and half pieces of lemon. You don't want to have your heat high at all. This is just a little bit to keep the temperature up. And we're gonna leave this to infuse very gently for a minute. The boil is back. Take a spray, don't burn yourself, you're gonna taste. Let's see if there's any of salt. That's fine. Heat off. Now, the base is ready. We're left with the parsley and the croutons. We're gonna add this just at the last minute. So if you're making a piece of fish, you make a piece of fish and just before serving, you can warm this up if you don't use it immediately and you add the parsley then. If you put the parsley now, it's gonna start cooking. It's gonna be horrible. So you want to keep the freshness of the croutons and the parsley. So I'm gonna do this at the last minute. I'm gonna make a piece of fish and I'll show you on the picture how it looks like when a bit of a pouring over. So just very briefly before I'm adding the final touch, when you make the fish, there's a misconception. People tend to cook the fish in butter and then use that butter to make the sauce meunier or the grenobloise. It is not the case. You never use the butter used to cook the fish because it's gonna be all saturated, maybe a little bit burned, fishy. You don't want that. You always do the sauce with a clean butter and you cook your fish on the side with a different butter. My fish is now ready, immediately I'm bringing this back to the boil and I'm gonna add last minute just before serving the crouton, the parsley and final mix like this and boom on the table and we serve. 
And here we are, look at this. Piece of John Dory, croutons, caper, salt and pepper, drizzle of that butter, and you're good to go bistro style. This is a super versatile sauce that will work with any of your white fish, salmon, a side of lettuce if you want, boiled potatoes, and you're good to go. The one advice I can give you, when you make the brown butter or the burn noisette, wait for that nose to disappear, and when you have this brown deposit that is just light brown, you're good to go, because the key to that sauce, the taste, you want the nutty flavors in there, plus the acidity of the lemon, the capers, and the rest is just pure joy. So go ahead, try it out. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as for me, I will see you next time for another French cooking video on the French Cooking Academy. Take care all, bye bye.